this fall. Great movies and great stars are coming to Channel 7 on the 6.30 movie. On the ABC Sunday night movie, Goldfinger, Patton, True Grit, Lawrence of Arabia. Great movies, great stars, this fall on Channel 7. When 28-year-old Z Friedman was killed in the Munich airport tragedy last night, his death continued a family tragedy that began back in World War II. The Olympic athlete's father said that the rest of his family had died in Nazi concentration camps. Young Z was the only one left to carry on the family name, and now, sadly enough, he too is dead. There was insane violence today on a golf course in the Virgin Islands. It seems a gunman went berserk. He killed seven people. Later, he was unable to say why he did it. And finally, on the lighter side of the news, 55 defendant, uh, descendants make that of Olmi Lakdar congratulated him today on his fourth marriage. It seems that he is somewhat of a celebrity in Algeria. He said, though, that he probably won't marry again, the reason being he is 106 years old. It rained out at my place last night and again this morning. So what's the weather word, Alan? Is that a statement or an accusation? Kind of hard to tell. <laughs> it did rain last night, and check officially, we had one one hundredth inches of rain. It rained pretty good over parts of the various valleys and mountains and deserts. Most of that pattern has moved on to the east, and Hyacinth, bless her soul, her remains lie out here somewhere ignominiously off the coast, and we have seen the last of her. The humidity was quite high today, despite the low temperature, 82, 70 this morning. We ranged from a high of 87% last night back to 63, and as I mentioned earlier, that's 75% average. That is very warm, debilitating, and uncomfortable. It will improve somewhat tomorrow. Over the rest of the country, and this little front that was across here yesterday has now moved on down to the east of us. That means an increase, because of the low pressure in the desert caused by that, of more night and morning clouds and fog, and happily more sunshine and a little less humidity tomorrow. Showers and heavy thunderstorms over the upper plains with a tornado alert out to the eastern Dakotas, western Minnesota, northwestern Iowa, and the northeastern corner of Nebraska until 9 o'clock tonight. They're getting hail, high winds, and heavy rains in there. Other showers on either side of this weather system over the Great Lakes and across the Gulf to kind of complete the weather pattern. 35 at Ely, Nevada this morning. That was the cold spot in the nation. 96 at Phoenix thus far reporting as the warmest. The satellite shows us with most of the nation on the clear side. You can see the clouds over the Rockies and across the central plains. They will be in less evidence by tomorrow. For us, in the San Fernando and the San Gabriel Valley by tomorrow afternoon, the mid and upper 80s, again a little lower humidity, and mostly afternoon sunshine as things start to improve toward the weekend. And from this Wednesday vantage point, it looks like a very good weekend. At Civic Center, a cloudy, muggy 67 in the morning, about 85 tomorrow afternoon. It looks like an 85 again on Friday. If you're headed for the beach, you won't have that big 12 to 20 foot surf, but it will be four to six feet with some breakers to eight, and that will be diminishing tonight and tomorrow. On the beach, temperatures in the low 70s with the water temperature at 68. If you're headed for the mountains, the upper 70s by tomorrow, they're still getting some little residual shower activity. That'll be clear and gone by tomorrow. And the upper deserts in the mid-80s, lower deserts, quite cool for this time of the year, the upper 90s to right around the 100-degree mark. Throughout it all, there may be a little return of some light eye-irritating smog, mostly in the central and inland portions of the basin, but other than that, a certainly vast improvement over what we had today and yesterday. John? Thank you very much, Alan. That's Eyewitness News for now. Next, it's the ABC Evening News with Harry Reasoner and Howard K. Smith. We'll be back in 30 minutes with a 6 o'clock edition of Eyewitness News and the latest then on the manhunt in West Germany for more Arab terrorists. See you then.